very good news um, of research that's coming out from, from this group and also other groups that are following individuals over time. So what we are seeing, and you've heard us speak a lot about this, about really trying to better understand the body's reaction to infection in terms of the development of antibodies and neutralizing antibodies in particular. Uh, and what we're seeing now, as the pandemic, we're reaching almost a year into this pandemic, um, some of those early cases are now being followed over many months. Um, and these are studies that collect samples from those cases, those patients who, who have now recovered, but collect samples over every month or every few weeks or so. And we're now getting up to four, five, six months of actually tracking them and looking at the antibody responses. And this is very good news. It is promising um, and confirming um, what other studies are also finding as well. And so what these show is that the individual and what we do know um, is that people who are infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus will develop uh, an antibody response within a few weeks, one to three weeks of, of, of infection. Um, and now we're seeing that that antibody response is lasting and it's lasting for months. Um, we still need to follow these individuals for a longer period of time so we can determine how long these antibodies last, but this is good news. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.